the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house, and for those who enter with faith, reverence and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For our Father, Metropolitan Joseph, the venerable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For Metropolitan Paul, Archbishop John, for their quick release from captivity and safe return, let us pray to the Lord. For the President of the United States and all civil authorities, and for our armed forces everywhere, especially Peter, Ronnie, Andrew, Joshua, Alex, Madison, Skyler, Will, Benjamin, Thaddeus, and Adam, let us pray to the Lord. For this city, for every city and land, and for the faithful who dwell therein, for healthful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by sea, by land, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, and especially for those suffering for the faith, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and need, Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life unto Christ our God. Lord, unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages.
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Philippians. Brethren, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let all men know your forbearance. The Lord is at hand. Have no anxiety about anything. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will keep your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, Whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is gracious, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. What you have learned and received and heard and seen in me do, and the God of peace will be with you. Peace be to thee that breatheth and to thy spirit. Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus, who had died, was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. There they made him a supper. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those at table with him. Mary took a pound of costly ointment of pure nard, and anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with her hair, and the house was filled with the fragrance of the ointment. But Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, one of his disciples, he who was to betray Jesus, said, Why was this ointment not sold for three hundred denarii and given to the poor? This he said not because he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief. And as he had the money box, he used to take what was put into it. Jesus said, Let her alone. Let her keep it for the day of my burial. The poor you always have with you, but you do not always have me. When the great crowd of the Jews learned that he was there, they came not only on account of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. So the chief priests planned to put Lazarus also to death, because on account of him many of the Jews were going away and believing in Jesus. The next day a great crowd who had come to the feast heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. So they took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him, crying, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. And Jesus found a young donkey and sat upon it, as it is written, Fear not, daughter of Zion, behold, your king is coming, sit, sitting on a donkey's colt. His disciples did not understand this at first, but when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that this had been written of him and had been done to him. The crowd that had been with Jesus when he called Lazarus out of the tomb and raised him from the dead bore witness. The reason why this crowd went to meet Jesus was that they heard he had done this sign. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Today is the glorious feast known as the Triumphal Entry of our Lord into Jerusalem, or simply Palm Sunday. Yesterday, our Lord
our Lord Jesus Christ raised his friend Lazarus from the dead as a foreshadowing of the universal resurrection of mankind. Today he rides the foal of a donkey into Jerusalem amidst the praise of the multitudes who cry out, Hosanna, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. The word Hosanna means save or savior or possibly even Lord save. And as use indicates, that the crowd recognized, at least at that time, Jesus to be the promised Messiah, the Savior sent by God to redeem his people, Israel. Unfortunately, the Jews did not understand the nature of that redemption, that salvation the Lord came to bring. Expecting him to come as a conquering political hero who would free Israel from Roman rule and oppression, their hopes were utterly dashed when they saw him, just a few days later, arrested and beaten and put to shame before the hated Roman authorities. This was not the sort of Messiah they wanted, and their shouts of praise would soon turn to cries of, Away with him! Crucify him! Crucify him! This rejection of Christ was by no means unexpected. It had been foretold by the prophets. But on a larger scale, we might even say it is the typical way that we humans respond to God when he doesn't act the way that we want him to. People will tend to be angry or disappointed with God or even doubt their faith in his goodness when things don't happen the way that we feel that they should. This is rooted in a very blind and selfish desire to have life the way that we want it without the interference of God. But God does interfere because he wants us to have so much more than we are willing to settle for. The Jews only wanted happy lives free from Roman rule, but God wanted them to share in his kingdom and have eternal life. But they didn't get what they wanted and so they rejected God's infinitely greater gift. This is what we need to guard against in our own lives, that we are fixed on preserving our lives the way that we want them, and we resist and fight God's interference. When he allows the normal trials and sufferings inherent in a fallen world to afflict us, do we accept these for our good, or see them only as terrible intrusions, disruptive to our master plan? We want a life that is good and pleasant and devoid of all tribulation, but this desire is impossible and represents a denial of all that is real in a fallen world. In this world, Jesus said, you will have tribulation, but fear not, for I have overcome the world. He didn't say we wouldn't have tribulation. He said we would, but that he has overcome. We want to live in a fallen world as if it were not fallen. And everything that turned out to be bad or uncomfortable or a setback or a disappointment was either a mistake or a sure sign of God's uncaring attitude. We want everything that we want, and we want it the way that we want it. A lesson we can take from Palm Sunday is that, well, just how quickly and even religious people can turn against God when they don't get what they want. The culprit here, the cause, is the earthbound worldly attitude and orientation that lives in our hearts. The solution is to begin to desire and long for the kingdom of heaven above all else. The person who is heaven bound sees himself honestly as a pilgrim passing through, as it were, a foreign war-torn land on his way to his homeland, his home place, which is filled with peace, his true home. He does not expect to find rest in the terrible war-torn land that he finds himself in. He knows that if he can <laughs> lay down and take a nap, a bomb may fall upon him. He must keep moving toward home. He will accept the danger and sufferings that are normal in his present place as further evidence that he really belongs somewhere else. 
What is bad that he sees around him is proof that he was made for something higher, something better. When you think about it, why do we, a fallen people, living in a fallen world, even consider suffering to be bad or abnormal? Why, do we, why does it occur to us that such things are not the way they should be, unless we were created for some place where such bad does not exist, where there is peace, where there is hope, where there is love? Shouldn't death and suffering appear to us in this world to be quite normal and ordinary? It is the way of things. Even the most hardened atheist, however, does not accept this. He does not accept death and suffering and turmoil and setback to be normal, although he does not hardly envision anything better. But we know that we were made for something better. Yet at the same time, we keep trying to find that better here and not there. The simple lesson we should take is not to fight God. I did not get my happy life. Crucify him. Crucify him. Perhaps what we should say is, I want my happy life. Crucify me. Only by counting ourselves as dead to this world can we gain the inexpressible joy of the kingdom to come, our true hope. Let us remember that God always, always has something far greater and far better than we can imagine, and not settle for less, but to set our hearts on heaven above, to the glory of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>
gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, be gracious unto me,
that this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, all things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance for a Christian end to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the fearful judgment seat of Christ, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life unto Christ our God. Through the compassions of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all. And to thy Spirit. Let us love one another, that with one accord we may confess. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence and undivided. Christ is in our midst. He is and ever shall be. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for our sin and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin Mary and was made man. And was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again, according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. <clears throat> Let us stand aright. Let us stand with fear. Let us attend that we may offer the holy oblation. Mercy of peace, our sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with thy spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. To 
worship the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence and undivided. It is me, and right, to hymn thee, to bless thee, to praise thee, to give thanks unto thee, and to worship thee in every place of thy dominion. For thou art God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing and eternally the same, thou and thine only begotten Son and thy Holy Spirit. Thou it was who didst bring us from non-existence into being, and when we had fallen away, didst raise us up again, and didst not cease to do all things until thou hast brought us back to heaven and hast endowed us with thy kingdom which is to come. For all these things we give thanks unto thee and to thine only begotten Son and thy Holy Spirit, for all things of which we know and of which we know not, and for all the benefits bestowed upon us, both manifest and unseen. And we give thanks unto thee also for this ministry, which thou hast vouchsafed to receive at our hands, even though there stand beside thee thousands of archangels and ten thousands of angels, the cherubim and the seraphim, six-winged, many eyes, soaring aloft, borne on their pinions, singing the triumphal hymn, shouting, proclaiming, and saying, with these blessed powers, we also master and love us and God, and cry aloud and say, Holy art thou, O holy, thou and thine only begotten Son, thy Holy Spirit, that holy art thou, O holy and magnificent is thy glory, who has so loved thy world to give thine only begotten Son, that to all who believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life, who when he had come and had fulfilled all the dispensation for us in the night in which he was betrayed, or rather gave himself up for the life of the world took bread in his holy and pure and blameless hands, and when he had given thanks and blessed it and hallowed it and broken it, he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you for the remission of sins. And likewise after supper he took the cup, saying, Drink ye all of this. This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Having in, <coughs> in remem <coughs> having in remembrance, therefore, the saving commandments and all those things which have come to pass for us, the cross, the grave, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the session at the right hand, and the second and glorious advent. Thine own of thine own we offer unto thee in behalf of all and for all. Again, we offer unto thee this reasonable and unbloody service, and beseech thee, and pray thee, and supplicate thee. Send down thy Holy Spirit upon us, and upon these gifts here spread forth. And make this bread the precious body of thy Christ. Amen. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of thy Christ. Changing them by thy Holy Spirit, that to those who shall partake thereof they may be unto cleansing of soul, unto the remission of sins, unto the communion of thy Holy Spirit, unto the fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, unto boldness toward thee, and not unto judgment or unto condemnation. And again we offer unto thee this reasonable service for all those who in faith have gone before us to their rest. Patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and every righteous spirit made perfect in faith. Especially our all holy immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. Again, 
we beseech thee, be mindful, Lord, of every bishop of the Orthodox who rightly divide the word of the truth, a priesthood, the diaconate Christ, every heretic and monastic order. Again, we offer to thee this reasonable service for the whole world, for the holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, for the most those who live in chastity and holiness of life, for all civil authorities and armed forces everywhere, grant them, O Lord, peaceful times that we in thy tranquility may lead a calm and peaceful life in all godliness and sanctity. these gifts offered in place of thy holy mysteries, always now and ever and unto ages of ages. Among the first be mindful, O Lord of our Father and Metropolitan Joseph, whom do thou grant unto thy holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, and rightly dividing the word of thy truth. Be mindful, O Lord, of the city in which we dwell, of every city and countryside, and those who in faith there dwell therein. Be mindful, O Lord, of those who travel by sea, by land, by air, of the sick, the suffering, captives, and their salvation. Be mindful, O Lord, of those who bear fruit and do good works in thy holy churches, and who remember the poor. And upon us all send forth thy mercies, and grant us with one mouth and one heart to glorify and praise thy all honorable and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages, of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. And with thy spirit. Calling to remembrance all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts which have been offered and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. Lord that our God, who loveth mankind, receiving them upon his holy, heavenly, and ideal altar for an odor of spiritual fragrance, will send down upon us in return his divine grace and to the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Asking for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To And vouchsafe, O Lord, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call upon Thee, the heavenly God, as Father, and say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all. And to thy spirit. Through the grace and compassion and love toward man of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Look down, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, from thy holy dwelling place and from the throne of the glory of thy kingdom, and come to sanctify us. O thou who sitteth on high with the Father, and art here invisibly present with us, and vouchsafe by thy mighty hand to impart unto us 
thine immaculate body and precious blood and through us unto all the people. O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. Let us be attentive. Holy things are for the holy. Broken and distributed is the Lamb of God who has ever eaten, yet never consumed. The fullness of the cup of the faith of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To the glory of God the Father. Bless his fervor by saying it's always now and ever and unto ages of ages. The warmth of faith, the full of the Holy Spirit. And I confess that thou art truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who didst come into the world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. And I believe that this is truly thine own immaculate body. And that this is truly my own precious, precious blood. Wherefore I pray thee, have mercy upon me, and forgive me my transgressions, both voluntary and involuntary, of word and of deed, of knowledge and of ignorance, and make me worthy to partake without condemnation of thy immaculate mysteries, unto remission of my sins, and unto life everlasting. Amen. Of thy mystic supper, O Son of God, accept me today as a communicant. For I will not speak of thy mystery to thine enemies, neither will I do for thee a kiss as to Judas, but like the thief will I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom, not into judgment, nor into condemnation. Be my partaker in thy holy mysteries, O Lord, but unto the healing of soul and body. Lord, draw nigh to Christ, our mortal King and our God, the precious and all holy body of our Lord God, and Savior Jesus Christ, has given unto me this worthy priest, Michael, for the remission of sins and for life you out of the house of the Lord. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. Of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. For the remission of sins and for life and confess thee. Thou art my God, and I will exalt thee. Servant of God, Anthony partakes of the precious and all holy body and blood 
of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and for life everlasting. So then to thy Mary and partakes of the precious and all holy body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and for life everlasting. O God, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Wash away the sins of those who never do all their life. By raising Lazarus from the dead before thy passion, thou didst confirm the universal resurrection, O Christ God. Like the children with the palms of victory, we cry out to the O vanquisher of death. Hosanna in the highest. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens and the glory of all the earth. Amen. Blessed is our God. Always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let our mouths be filled with thy praise, O Lord, that we may sing of thy glory. For thou hast made us worthy to partake of thy holy, divine, immortal, and life. in my holiness, that all the day we may meditate upon my righteousness. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Attend, having partaken of the divine, holy, immaculate, immortal, heavenly, life-giving, and awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Asking that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Be, we give thanks unto thee, O Lord, who lovest mankind, benefactor of our souls and bodies, for that thou hast vouchsafed this day to feed us with thy heavenly and immortal mysteries. Make straight our path, establish us all in thy fear. Guard our life, make firm our steps through the prayers and intercessions of the glorious Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all thy saints. For thou art our sanctification and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name O Lord, who blesses those who bless thee, and sanctifies those who put their trust in thee, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Preserve the fullness of thy church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of thy house. Glorify them in recompense by thy divine power, and forsake us not who hope on thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to the priests, to all civil authorities, to our armed forces, and to all thy people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, and cometh down from thee, the Father of lights. And unto thee we ascribe glory, thanksgiving, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> o 
Christ, our God, who art thyself the fulfillment of the law and the prophets, who didst fulfill all the dispensation of the Father, fill our hearts with joy and gladness always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Lord our God that sitteth upon the cherubim, to have raised up the might of that only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, that through his cross and grave and resurrection he might save the world, and at whose coming today to Jerusalem, to his voluntary passion, the people that sat in darkness and in the shadow of death, taking the symbols of victory, the boughs of trees and branches of palms, did go forth and proclaim the resurrection by anticipation. Do thou the same Lord preserve and keep us also, who in imitation of them do bear in our hands palm and boughs of trees on the eve of the feast, and like unto those multitudes and children who offered unto thee Hosanna, may we also in hymns and spiritual songs attain unto the life-giving resurrection on the third day, in the same Christ Jesus our Lord, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy good and life-giving spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Kids, if you have your crosses at home, this is the time that you can sing with us, Holy God, and process around your homes. Mercy of the 
Our Lord and his grace come upon you through his grace and love toward mankind, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God, and our hope. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. May he who accepted to make the foal of an ass his throne for our salvation, Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his all immaculate and all blameless Holy Mother, by the might of the precious and life giving cross, by the protection of the honorable, bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable, glorious prophet, forerunner, and Baptist John, of the holy, glorious, and all laudable apostles, of our Father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, whose divine liturgy we have now celebrated, of the holy and glorious, right victorious martyrs and our venerable God-bearing fathers, of Saint Barnabas, the patron and protector of this holy community, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for as much as he is good and loveth mankind, through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Blessed beast.